Hello everyone, I am Tiffany Starr, and you are talking with Tiff. Do chromosomes determine if you're a man or a woman? Conservatives, TERFs, and other low IQ individuals seem to think so. Stop me if you've heard this one before. You're arguing with someone who's ignorant on trans people, and you're laying the smack down on them with logic, facts, and data. Wham, wham, wham. And when they finally realize your knowledge of trans people vastly exceeds theirs, they default to the retort, hey, listen, if you're XX, you're female. If you're XY, you're male. It's just basic biology. Keyword being basic, because these ignorant fucks halted their education on biology in sixth grade. I'm gonna shrink myself again. I know everyone hates it when I shrink myself. They like to see me in all my glory, but I can't take up all the spotlight today. I'm sorry. Now I could go over this plethora of scientific data and studies that undeniably prove that trans women are women and that they're valid. But since conservatives and tariffs are keen to fall back on the biological argument, I thought we could delve into that today, since they're so interested in the physical aspect of trans women. It's like they can't stop thinking of us, but who can blame them? We're fucking hot. So I procured three reputable sources on how trans women's brains match that of cis women's brains. I'll put these links in the description below for your enjoyment and for turfs to cry over. Let's go over these articles one by fucking one. The Scientist Exploring Life Inspiring Innovation. So this is definitely not a website for conservatives. Are the brains of transgender people different from those of cisgender people? Let's find out. Research into biological basis of gender identity is in its infancy, but clues are beginning to emerge. Transgender rights have become a mainstream political issue, and the idea that people should be referred to by the names and pronouns they find most fitting, whether or not these designations match those on their birth certificates or align with the category of male and female, is gaining acceptance. Yet a biological understanding of the contrast between the natal sex and the gender identity of transgender people remains elusive. In recent years, techniques such as functional magnetic resonance imaging have begun to yield clues to possible biological underpinnings of the condition known as gender dysphoria. In particular, researchers are identifying similarities and differences between the aspects of the structure and function of the brains of trans and cisgendered individuals. That could help explain the conviction that one's gender and natal sex don't match. The developmental mismatch idea draws support from the two sets of findings. Animal studies demonstrated that the genitals and the brain acquire masculine or feminine traits at different stages of development in the utero, setting up the potential for hormone fluctuations or other factors to put those organs on different tracks. And human studies have found that in several regions, the brain of trans people bear a greater resemblance to those of cis people who share the trans subject's gender than those of the same natal sex. Boom! Fucking boom! Ugh! Fuck turfs. Oh, this is great. Dick suave. <laughs> Let's all take a moment to appreciate the name of this gentleman. I just think of someone sounding themselves with a Q-tip. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dick Swab. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Dick Swab of the Netherlands Institute for Neuroscience is a pioneer in the neuroscience underlying gender identity. In the mid-1900s, his group examined the post-mortem brains of six transgender women and reported that the size of the central subdivision of the bed nucleus of the stria terminalis, a sexually dimorphic area in the forebrain known to be important to sexual behavior, was closer to that of cisgender women than cisgender men. Functional similarities between transgender people and their cisgender counterparts were apparent in a study led by Julie Baker, a less funny name, but still a good name. Previous studies have indicated that the exercise engaged different brain areas in men and women. Baker and the colleagues found that trans boys who had not been exposed to testosterone, but had female pubertal hormones suppressed, as well as cisgender boys displayed less activation than cisgender girls in the frontal brain area where they performed the task. So that's one article. And now on to the next. Transgender brains are more like their desired gender from an early age. Brain activity and structure in transgender adults 
adolescents more closely resemble the typical activation patterns of their desired gender. According to the findings to be presented in Barcelona at the European Society of Endocrinology's annual meeting, ECE 2018. These findings suggest that differences in the brain function may occur early in development and that the brain imaging may be a useful tool for early identification of transgenderism in young people. So they can determine if you're trans from a young age. Maybe it's not perfect yet, but they're working on it and the fact that there's data already on this kind of shows that uh, it's a biological component to this. Earlier diagnosis or better understanding of transgenderism could help to improve quality of life for young trans people and help families to make more informed decisions on treatment. Genetics and hormones contribute to sex differences in brain development and function that leads to more male or female typical characteristics. However, these processes are not well established. Furthermore, little is known on how early in life or to what extent the gender typical characteristics of transgender people become established. Although more research is needed, we now have evidence that sexual differentiation of the brain differs in young people with gender dysphoria as they show functional brain characteristics that are typical of their desired gender. And for the last article to substantiate my fucking claim is from Cleveland Clinic Health Essentials. Research on the transgender brain, what you should know. Expanding knowledge of the brain and gender identity. What's going on in your brain plays a large role in determining the gender you identify with, and researchers working with transgender people are just starting to understand how. Being transgender has nothing to do with sexual identity. As one doctor puts it, sexuality is about what you're attracted to. Gender is about who you are. Where does gender originate? In the birthing process, a medical professional will declare your baby a boy or girl based on their sexual organs. But does this determine their gender? Hey, hey, spoiler alert. No, it fucking doesn't because gender and sex aren't the same thing. You're welcome for that spoiler alert. We know that an embryo forms the genitalia specializes into either male or female, but what about development in the brain? The brain and the body can go in different directions, Dr. Altney says. Gender is not only in our genitalia, there's something in the brain that determines gender. The male and female brain have structural differences. Men and women tend to have different volumes in certain areas of the brain. When we look at transgender brains, we see that the brain resembles the gender that the person identifies as. For example, a person who is born with a penis but ends up identifying as a female often actually has some of the structural characteristics of a female brain. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds like uh, biological evidence to me. What do you all think, huh? That's, uh, that's fucking biology right there. And the brain similarities aren't only structural. We're also finding some functional similarities between the transgender brain and its identified gender. In studies that use MRIs to take images of the brain as people perform tasks, the brain activity of transgender people tend to look like that of the gender they identify with. More research is needed to be done to find conclusive results. But we're already seeing definite trends. Though these differences in brain structures and functions are important markers of gender determination, it isn't always as simple as male or female. Some reaches show that brains of transgender people are somewhere in between, sharing characteristics of both male and female brains. Basically, like, non-binary people. Which, this also shows that non-binary people exist! So if you think non-binary people aren't a real gender, or aren't any gender, then fuck you, because there's data on that too! Suck all the fucking LGBT dicks! Or vaginas, I don't give a fuck what genitalia they got. This is consistent with the growing understanding that gender existence on a spectrum with people identifying not only as male or female, but also as gender queer, gender fluid, or non-binary, which is what I just fucking said. Boom, I could have written this article. Understanding gender dysphoria. In a world that still misunderstands, discriminates against, and victimizes transgender people, research demonstrating that gender development in the brain could have important implications for transgender people. There's also hope this research will give us a new understanding of gender dysphoria, the psychological distress that many transgender people experience because their assigned gender doesn't match the way they see themselves. If we can define gender dysphoria better, we can tailor treatments for it. Those treatments involve taking steps to help a transgender person live as the gender they identify with. This may include medical transition with hormones or surgery in some cases, as well as therapy. So if men and women have different brain structures, and trans women have cis female brains, then by conservatives' own logic, trans women are women. I mean, it's basic biology, right, conservatives? Conservatives and TERFs always whip out the biology argument as if it's some kind of gotcha card. Well, assholes, throw those gotcha cards in the fucking shredder because you no longer have a leg to stand on when it comes to the biological argument.
You may not like scientific data, but I do, and the scientific data here is overwhelming. But despite that, conservatives and TERFs still won't embrace the scientific information because it was never really about biology, was it? Think about it. Why do XX and XY chromosomes matter, but not brain structure? It's almost like they're not actually interested in the science behind trans people, and they only want an excuse to hate them. They use this argument to try and attack the trans community, leading to excluding them from rights or taking established rights away from them. We've seen this a lot recently. Senator James Langford of Oklahoma City cited J.K. Rowling's turf manifesto to block an LGBTQ civil rights bill. Trump and his administration want to kick transgender people out of homeless shelters and deny transgender people access to health care during a fucking pandemic. And do I really need to bring up the ban on transgender people in the military? He's also talking about reversing marriage equality, which doesn't just affect cisgendered gay people and lesbians, but it affects trans people too, like me. I'm trans, I like women, I want to marry a woman. That's gonna fuck me over. Like the article said, we as a society and as a species still have a lot to learn about trans people. But we have enough data here to determine that trans women are undoubtedly women, be it biologically or mentally. If you disagree after all this, that just means you hate science and relish in being intellectually inferior. Remember, while some people are just ignorant on trans people and trans issues, TERFs, Nazis, and conservatives always argue in bad faith. They're liars that hate for the sake of hating something. It makes them feel better about themselves because deep down, they know they're hot garbage. I encourage everyone to share this video with every turf and conservative they know. It'll boil their blood, which is just fantastic. While you're at it, send this video to every bloody sod in the UK. Apparently the people there have trouble understanding research on trans people. Maybe they're trying to Brexit from intelligence. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love the UK, just not the tariffs. Fuck you, J.K. Rowling.